if you have an external hard drive that appears like it's going to boot up but then it starts to either beep and or start a clicking noise that may not be audible until you put your ear to the hard drive then what you'll have to do is what I'm doing the following now this had an external case I've already removed the case this had no screws on the case so what I had to do is I had to take a screwdriver on the case work my way in the little indentation which went along the whole thing and pry it in different spots which popped it open sorry I didn't record that part so what we're going to do now is take out these screws these are not your average screws so by that I mean they're not Allen wrench they're not Phillips and I'll show you this thing real see if I can get it to focus on here what this one is the number of this one is called a T6 and I've got a whole set of these in all different sizes see how many I got I have use proper English here so I don't know why they gotta build stuff with they build stuff with all these crazy things so that people it's not user friendly but if you have a half a brain sometimes you can fix these things yourself now with that said I probably jinxed being able to fix this now this did have like a metal another metal case so I had to bend this back had to bend this back so I could have access to the screws. If not, I wouldn't have been able to get to the screws. Because they have like six screws that hold this thing. You should do this in a clean spot. I didn't do this in the main part of the house because um, we do have pets. Um, but as you can see, this is a very clean spot. Not, but it's cleaner than upstairs, dust-wise. And I don't plan on having this thing open very long. So, now the deal is, let's see if we can get the top off. And there may be a hidden one. Sometimes they hide one under here. Let me back it up a little bit. Sometimes they hide a screw under here. So you're just going to have to see. I know it's crazy and why they do it again let's just see it feels like there could be one over here yep I found it It's open. I may just leave it like that. It's kind of holding it in a spot, but that, there may be another one. We'll see. But I think that was it. No, there may be two. Oh, why wow, they gotta do this? Make it difficult. Yep, they had two. And you can tell because the top should kind of pop off. Now we got it. So a lot of times that clicking, that popping is due to, it's kind of like a record player. And 
and uh, I'm not sure if this hard drive is actually damaged or not. You can see there's a little line around it. But what we're going to do is just see if we can't coax this thing to work. Just curious where those two screws went. The one went here and one went there. Now it appears a lot of times this will be stuck on the actual desk, but it doesn't appear to be stuck on it. So I'm going to put it back together and sometimes just freeing it up like that will do the job. just leave it a little bit on there now this is going to be a little tricky because I left the screws on underneath there so the alignment is going to be pretty critical which there it goes right into the groove Now we got to put these back. And when I get the top two in, what I'm going to do is put it, I have to bend that little frame that held this in. I guess I can go ahead and do that now. So I bend that down, bend this down. But what I'm going to do to test it before I put this whole thing in the other piece of plastic that I was telling you about, I'll test it. Because if I have to open it back up, it'll be a lot easier not have to stick a screwdriver and wedge that thing so I can get it off. Now you see, I don't even require a tool. These things are usually able to take off with just hand strength. I mean, you just tighten it back the same way. If you lose one of these, it's not the worst thing in the world because if you're in deep carpet or something, you'll never find it. They're very small, just to show you again how little that is. I mean, they're 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 teeny, and they put this one had eight. Sometimes there's only the six, but like I said, usually, be careful. There will be one underneath the label, and they do that so that it's not user friendly. Um, I think this is a 1.5 terabyte. It's 1500 gigabyte. Yeah. And so this one also, with the plastic shell, it had a little plug that plugged into here that allowed it to, um, that converted this plug to uh, H, uh, uh, USB um, 3.0. So it's got the two prongs. So anyways, we're going to put it, hook it up, and um, I'll leave some notes if it works. Um, this holds this I've got thousands of songs on here and I don't have a backup and I don't want to lose them so what I'm gonna do the first thing is I'm gonna do when it works is I'm gonna drag them to a folder on my desktop I had this connected to be able to access it by my um, my router um, most routers have like a USB port which is really cool so you can access and I'll make sure that I put my little T6 back in the box so that if I ever need uh, this size again which I will as you see I've got, a, I've got other hard drives here that I've over the years 
either you know there's stuff probably on them they they've gone bad i mean you know they got a real racket and this business with this physical hard drive's got to end i mean bring on the solid state this is this look how big they've gotten and of course you know um this was for if I, I think this was a uh, internal one for a desktop and then this was an internal for a laptop but i mean you know enough is enough they have the technology to put this on solid state this bull crap with the record player like thing i mean give me a break it is a record player and that little disc is a joke so anyways hopefully loosening that up because it sat for so many years with the heat is going to work and i'll put it in the notes underneath so um hope that helps you at least to be able to access it um and to be able to move be real careful if it's on the record the disc um don't just shove it because you will scratch it just like you'd scratch an old lp you will scratch that disc so be real gentle with that needle it's like a needle like a record player it's the easiest way to explain that is what you got in your computers unless you see on your computer solid state ss not like ss world war ii but solid state ss uh, sometimes it'll be a combination it'll say like 500 um, gigabytes or, or one terabyte and then it'll have they're usually a lot smaller now like a hundred two hundred um, megabyte or gigabyte um, SS drive but eventually these are going to be gone it's all going to be a little uh, held on a little uh, solid-state chip which it's time I mean you know this is just a way for them to keep things breaking so you have to buy new ones and I'm um, sure solid state can fail but the failure rate on these is very high you know it's just a whole industry you know it's kinda like you know they don't want to find a cure for cancer because it's too big of money this is a big money making thing but eventually um, with technology it's going to demand that these things be obsolete 73's